In this video we're going to have a look at four mats and two sets of pre-painted terrain that have been sent out to us from a chap called Martin from urbanmats.com so that's with the urban mats with a Z. So a link in the description for all this stuff and we'll start with the mats. So the mats come in uh, in boxes of course on shipping but that arrive with each with a bag themselves so that's quite handy and of course on each bag there's a nice little name tag which tells you which mat is inside so you don't have to unzip so that's pretty handy because I'm racking up mats now there's a lot of them and uh, each of the mats because it's universal uh, the mouse pad material so very very durable I've never had any bother with uh, mouse mat it lies nice and flat and uh, these ones unlike other ones I've got they've got a rounded edge I'm assuming that's because they've got their own uh, fold out table that they do uh, so it fits on there so I prefer the squared off edge but round I'm not going to cry about that so uh, th four mats we've got uh, one already out so this is called blast zone so I'll just take these mats away and we'll have a look at it so here we go blast zone it's uh, out of the norm for what I would usually get because it's got quite a lot of detail on this board uh, normally I'll go for something a lot more plain uh, but it's it's quite dark because it's been bombed out and uh, lots of burn holes and so uh, craters already built in for you it's very brown this mat and not a lot of greys which I normally like and uh, I thought I'd give it a try give something different to go so this will probably brighten up when you start putting the terrain on it but I'm pretty interested in how it'll all look uh, when we start playing battles on it so uh, try and, trying something new here I'm sure it'll work out because it looks pretty good so just having a play around with a few terrain pieces here, see what would fit. I think these are the winners here. Just totally bombed out buildings will uh, suit these uh, craters just fine. Right, this is mat number two. This is snow territory. So it's it's very plain, just how I like mats normally. And uh, it's, it's very blue. I don't know if that's coming over in the camera. It's got a very icy feel. So it's a total whiteout. I do have one that's got sort of rubble coming in from underneath the snow. But this one's just a total whiteout, which is exactly what I was wanting and uh, you just get some snowy trees done that sort of thing to suit this to this mat so uh, it serves a purpose there is uh, there is some detail on here there's some brickwork just underneath if you really want to sort of enhance it as brickwork you could put the uh, the frame of a building around here and that looks like uh, start to snow on top of the rubble and uh, equally you could just ignore it put a tree on it and you wouldn't even know so very blue very cold very wintry very good Okay, this next mat is called, you guessed it, Desert. So, uh, we've got some terrain to put on this as well, but we'll just cover the mat first. And uh, it's got all the hallmarks that you'd expect a desert mat to have. So, it's not exciting, but it's good. It's got uh, it's got the important, I'll keep on banging on about it, but it has got the grey in it. It's got little grey rocks and everything just helps a little bit when you start adding those colours to tie in with the bases that I've already got. So uh, rocks underneath the sand really help out when you want to put sandstone buildings on it. And uh, yeah, it's just does what it says on the tin. So I'm going to get the special terrain I came with it on and we'll have a look at that. So these are desert rocks that tie in with the desert mat and these are all pre-painted and this is the full set so you're getting all the spires uh, that you can possibly want on the board. So uh, these came expertly packaged, just totally encased in uh, polystyrene, so absolutely no damage. Well, none of the terrain uh, was damaged because it's so well packed with that polystyrene. Uh, it took us ages to get it out, in fact. So uh, it's, you don't have to worry about shipping. Uh, it's pre-painted, and I think these are totally solid pieces of resin. So they sprayed that colour to begin with, that sort of dark fleshy tone and then it looks like they are sprayed with some sort of champagne colour on top so I wanted to show you them before I add any of uh, my paintwork to it I will be probably jazzing them up a little bit but they don't don't need much of it to be honest because they're looking fine just lying on the table as such so if you push for time or anything or you don't want to don't get in there with your own brush I mean that's, that's perfectly fine so uh, how many pieces do you get? You get five, you get ten pieces here, so you get a few small ones, a few big ones, and then the biggest one in the middle, but still the, even the middle kind of mid-height ones are not actually uh, that small when compared to the big one. So you can get models on here, 
be hard to get them down I don't know how you get them down on the moving phase but uh, small bases will definitely get on in on here and big flying things will get on top of that as well so what you want in the desert is line aside blot and terrain and that's what we've got here and I'll just show some scale examples here so these two dire avengers and that's how big that rock is so this rock structure this is the biggest one in the set and this is just just under 10 inches tall and wide that's uh, about six inches wide as well uh, the smallest one there's some scale and again that's pretty wide four inches wide and about three and a half inches tall at its highest point okay so this mat is industrial that's what it's called uh, this one's completely different to all the other uh, boards and mats that we've got because this one really looks like it's the interior of somewhere so unusual choice for once but uh, I think it's gonna come come in handy especially in campaign games where sometimes you need to be fighting in in hangars or underground things like that so pretty cool pretty excited about this mat and what it can offer for narrative purposes so the mat itself is, uh, it's, it's pretty dark but you would expect that in in some sort of dimly lit interior and it's got all of the the choice colours on here, so a lot of greys, which are, it is a must for me because of my bases, and lots of browns, lots of sepias uh, that ties in with the rust. So I've got two in that will just fit on here pretty easily. So this is the industrial mat with some terrain put on it, clearly. Uh, so the, on this side, we've got the walls, they come from uh, the same place, urban mats. Uh, they do walls to fit on this, and then on this side, I've got existing terrain that I've already got just to match in. So uh, this side is more like an underground, uh, perhaps even on board a ship. Uh, with the maze kind of effect, I've jazzed it a little bit with a few other things, and then this could be, you know, just a big hangar uh, where chaos do the dirty work, as in set up noctilith crowns and all of that stuff. So th the walls, uh, like I said, these do come from urban mats as well. So there's three pieces to this, and there's a lot of pieces. So you can set this up in pretty much any which way you're going to do. So it comes pre-painted as well, which is something I've. Uh, experience for the first time because I normally paint my own stuff but uh, this is one of the blocks As you see it's got some uh, gold some silver and then it's also got the deep recesses shaded in there so I'll probably uh, go even further on these I just wanted to show you, show you these before I actually take a paintbrush to them just in the state that you get them so it is quite nice there's nothing wrong with that I'll probably add some sepia perhaps even some transfers on the uh, on the flatter bits just to you know try and theme it in but uh, these are, it should work out pretty useful. So that's one of the pieces. And you get a double piece here. And then the third piece that you get is this sort of uh, pillar bulkhead. So it's more of a rounded section. Uh, so these are the three pieces of them. And then you get as many pieces as that. I think this is the double, uh, the cell half of this. And then the cell, uh, this complete set. So you have to look out for that on the website. So this is the, the complete set. So there's a lot of it. They can just pretty much set that up. As you see, so it's sort of imitating Zone Mortalis uh, from Forge World, which is the big underground section. So I think it does actually, uh, I'm not sure on the dimensions, don't quote us on this, but it looks like it might set up on uh, the Necromunda mats and everything. So pretty cool. Uh, first experience with pre painted terrain, so it's, it's pretty cool. And just a little bit more experimentation here, just stacking them on top of each other. You can make, with all those pieces, a convincing uh, city wall that goes all the way. To both edges of the board which is very nice uh, it's worth mentioning as well these are uh, seem to be solid resin so it's flat bit on the bot bottom and then uh, that sort of design on the top so you can stack them I wouldn't recommend them too high I think going to two levels is probably enough 